this to the last three games. Just how do you feel right now? And do you feel you'll be ready for this Sunday? I hope so. I'm just taking it day by day. Um, obviously, you know, talking with the trainers, I'm trying to play it smart, but uh, obviously I'm hoping to be out there and playing as much as I can. Coach McDaniel said that he enjoys watching you play. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't want any lingering after effects. So when the coach says he enjoys watching you play, is that make you want to get out there even more, even though you got to listen to the trainers, of course? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to get out there bad anyways, um, but obviously, if, you know, it feels good to know that uh, the head man wants to see me out there too. So, um, you know, like he said, uh, obviously we want to play it smart, so that's not something that bothers me, you know, throughout the season. But at the same time, I'm definitely itching to get back. So playing it day by day. Did you watch the Monday night game live, or have you just seen it on tape? Just seen it on tape. Just seen it on tape, yeah. The Giants gave up 11 sacks. Mm -hmm. Your job in part is to get sacks. Mm -hmm. So watching that performance, what were you thinking? Um, you know, watching that, it's it's good to see just because it gives you kind of different looks at what moves are beating certain guys and things like that. But, you know, you, when you see 11 sacks, it doesn't automatically mean that we're going to have 11 sacks. So, um, you know, it's not like it's going to be easy by any means. Uh, you know, obviously the uh, Seahawks did a great job, um, you know, caused a lot of pressure and we're looking to do the same. With the expectations for a big fan Joe coming here and this defense sort of taking that next step, why do you think it hasn't translated so far in the first four games? Yeah, I just think I, I said it earlier. Um, I think there's growing pains anytime you know you switch defenses like this. Defense is a lot different, or a lot different than the defense we ran for the last two years. For me, for the last two years, some guys even longer. Um, so I think you know just getting all the moving pieces together. Um, you know, I, I couldn't tell you when exactly we're going to be you know firing on all cylinders, but you know that's obviously what we're working towards. How far along in that process would you say you are? Uh, as a defense. Um, that's a good question. You know, I think we have uh, really high potential, and we're definitely not where we want to be yet. Um, but you know, we're we're you know steady making progress and, and trying to put the pieces together, like I said. So I couldn't put a percentage on it, but like I said, we're working to get there. How, how, did, it, how did it feel today? How did what feel today? You. It felt great. <laughs> it was just any other day, honestly. But uh, obviously, I'm I'm glad that. You know, I was back in a helmet and back on the field as opposed to just being in the training room, so it was good. Is it frustrating on your motor that you weren't out there for two of those three games that you want to be out there with your teammates? Yeah, I mean, it sucks. It definitely does. It's one of the worst things in sports. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I just got to trust the process and keep my head down and keep working. How does a potential uh, uh, appearance of Saquon Barkley change things for your defense? Uh, you know, Saquon's a really dynamic back, uh, very shifty, uh, obviously low center of gravity, really hard to tackle. So uh, it just gives them uh, another weapon. Obviously, Breed is a great back too, um, but, you know, Saquon, pro bowler, um, really tough guy to tackle. So, um, yeah, it'll, it, I, I want him to be out there. You always want to play against uh, the best, you know, like iron sharpening iron. So, yeah, it'll be fun to see.